The more you put into this program, ladies and gentlemen, the more you get out. It's about you and the accomplishments you make through your efforts. Not mine, not the instructors, not grandmasters, but yours. You want more? You put in more. The success is up to you. Have a good night tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. My name is uh, Joel Ramirez. Um, at a young age, I wanted to grow up very quickly. So I started trying to independentize myself from my parents. I remember at 12 years old telling my father and my mother I wanted to leave the house, get a job, and live on my own. They laughed. Um, but at a very young age, I did do that. I wanted to be on my own. I wanted freedom. I wanted to not have to come home, not have to follow anybody's rules but my own. But um, with that independence came a lot, of, uh, a lot of mistakes, a lot of not knowing what to do in certain environments. So I got involved with women at a young age. Uh, I started drinking at a young age, you know, 16, 17. I had the means to drink and to go out and was confident enough to walk into a bar and order a drink. And sometimes they wouldn't even card me with my fake ID. I just would get the drink. So my drinking got worse. My partying got worse. And I was still training. And uh, that always filled my cup. That always filled my validation because I was a black belt and I taught and I spoke of these virtues, of these morals and principles. But I lived separate lives. I taught one thing, but I wasn't living it when evening came, then I was somebody else. And having fun doing it, it came with a big price that had to be paid later on. So about the time I was 17, my older girlfriend at the time got pregnant. And I was pretty young, already running an academy of about 320 active students. Um, I had to be responsible, but I wasn't ready yet. I didn't have the tools to be responsible. So I continued in that relationship, having my, my daughter and still wanting to live that double life. I started teaching this young man and um, one day I canceled class and told him, you know, I, I, ca class is canceled. I'm, I'm having a really bad day, a really hard time. His mom asked me, you know, I drive from Long Beach all the way to Orange County, Fullerton. It's a long drive and you're canceling class, why? She said, you look pale, you look skinny, you look awful. And I said, I just broke up with my girlfriend of 10 years. We have two children. I have another baby on the way. Another young lady's pregnant. She said, sit down. I deal with people in dysfunctional relationships. I thought I was put there for her son to teach him, to mentor him. She was put there to teach me, to mentor me how to be a son of God. That changed my life. I gave my life to Christ that day not to live with the guilt of the past of the things that I did and allowed me not to be in fear of what I'm going to do in the future. It allowed me to live in the present. And that is the one place that my pride and my ego can't get to me. That same person that led me to Christ, little did I know, she had a book out and she had a CD out and she was looking for management. She was looking for somebody to represent her. Her knowing my deepest, darkest secrets she came to me one day and said, you look like a go-getter. You look like you want to change your life. You gave your life to Christ and you're walking this walk. I'm looking for a manager. I'm looking for somebody to represent me. Never in my wildest dreams could I imagine that somebody would trust me with their career. I am currently her personal manager. I'm currently working with LRC Ministries. She just signed with the record label, released her second album. I managed the Haiku Taekwondo Academy in uh, somebody else's business. Never would I think that I would have somebody trust me with their business. We just have to choose what is right and be disciplined enough to follow that path. I think that's the most difficult part is making that decision and having follow through. I think as young, as young people, we're immature, we're selfish. We want everything now, 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 today. We don't want to work for anything for tomorrow. And I think we have to live in today. What did I do right today? And the rewards will be shown tomorrow. Or maybe next month, next year. But they will be shown.